The primary objective for the club was promotion, get us back in WSL1. Uh, it now allows us to look at budgets and everything for next year. But for myself and, and for the players and, and the rest of the technical staff, everybody focused on winning the league. So yeah, it's, it's an exciting time for the South West in terms of women's football. So you've got two teams obviously battling, uh, battling different areas of the country next week to see who actually lifts the trophy. The training has been very tough but very enjoyable. It's been small-sided games, it's been crossing and finishing, it's been everything that will relate to our game on Sunday. Uh, but yeah, it's been a tough week, but we wanted to make sure the players never dropped that intensity. So it was important that, that we worked properly this week going into the game. And I saw the girls yesterday and they were pleased, but I think I was definitely more excited than they are. True professionals, they are 100% focused, aren't they, on, on lifting that title? Yeah, they've, they've been unbelievable. Everybody's asked me, everybody's asked the players the same thing about how were the celebrations and yeah we celebrated on the pitch uh, we were delighted at getting promoted in, in the circumstances around the match but everybody was so focused on on, ne on, you know, on the Oxford game uh, at the weekend so you know, the celebrations have been kept to a minimum uh, the bus was a lively bus for the first half of the journey home it was a very quiet bus for the last hour of the journey because everybody was physically and, and mentally shattered I think so uh, yeah it's been it's been subdued but bubbly at the same time uh, and, and the celebrations will start once the final whistle goes on Sunday regardless of us winning the league or not because we will be able to celebrate uh, promotion but hopefully a, a league title.